I'm off to a great start to the day because I'm with the whole family in Framlingham and today's the day that we're taking Mummy and Percy to La Land. And we're sweetening you up first with a full English breakfast. So whatever you find at La Land will seem lovely, delightful and easy to cope with. That's the plan. Okay, hold that thought. <laughs> That's a sedative. <laughs> Brilliant. Here we go, Mummy. What do you think? Oh, wow. You can go for a spin in the sunshine with, with your bow. Where is my ball? <laughs> it's an automatic, Mummy. It's the same as the Jaguar. So you I just... I haven't driven the Jaguar. It's an automatic. Oh, that's the XO. That's the XO. Oh dear, I'm worried now. Oh dear. Yes, she's driven an automatic her whole life. Mummy, you have to press you know this you have to press the brake to be able to change gear you know this I mummy the brake the brake well i am on the brake are you oh i see it comes from yes the right. that side oh gosh is anyone else as worried as i am oh yes we are darling i thought it was scary enough when it was a lawnmower well at least you can see now there is that what about the indicators? uh yes everything's yeah. on the left down yes, that's why she's this is a possible Right, and that's the last Mummy and Percy were seen. Go faster! <laughs> <laughs> it's made for speed! Jerry and Philip have decided that whilst Mummy and Percy are on their little run, you're going to look inside an oh, antique shop. Oh, the battle tank just, that just looks right. What do you think? It's fantastic. I knew you'd love it. This is Oh, it's a very smooth ride. It is lovely, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's lovely. You have been whinging and complaining that you didn't need this car. I don't you need wanted. it, but it's lovely. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you, my darling. Now we know that Mummy and Percy are back safely and loving the car. We have popped in literally for five minutes before leaving, but we've already found two lovely things. I think these are going to be perfect salt and pepper for the kitchen at La Lande. And we found this amazing Copeland tray. And it's a Spurts Tower. You remember the, the, that's yes. the old one that we were Yeah, sent. it's a really old one. I love it. It's very pretty. It's pretty the gold rubbed off on one side, but I really don't mind. I think someone must have been handling it like this. <laughs> Only ever carried it with one hand off. That's it. Everybody is sleeping today. Oh, but two weeks you follow us. Two weeks I will be at the Chateau. Fantastic. But in the meantime, I've painted the house. It took me two days. Instead, you can see it's my office next door. Yeah. It's going to be yellow. Yellow. I think yellow would be really pretty. Yellow and lilac. Yeah. Before we go, I'm popping into Jerry's taxi office because there's something that he would like to show everybody he's very excited about. This is my favourite team called Celtic. <laughs> We all know how much you love Celtic. And they the woman, sent you this. And the woman called Eileen McCartney. She's the head of PR. She's seen me in the programme <laughs> wearing a Celtic top. She says, how would you like a signed Celtic top? No signed way. by everyone. And as you can see, it says, the oh. champions. Could that be the best thing to come out of the Chateau Diaries? That's the best thing to come out of everything. <laughs> That's the best thing to come out of the planet. <laughs> I'm really happy. Thank you, Celtic. There are many great things about this car, but we're beginning to realise that one of them is not boot space. I think he's doing very well. Mercedes could come and use this as an advertisement for his man. Just how much we're managing to get in. Yeah. Philip is engaged in a rather tense game of Tetris. <laughs> Luckily, I play love Tetris. <laughs> we can't leave the new tray behind. Yes, so we'll probably be at the front between my legs. Can I fit there? Well, it's breakable, so I'm not sure how good an idea that Yeah, that's no, fine. We can pack it in. We have Mummy's coat and Percy's jumper that I think are going to protect the tray very nicely. There's something very typical about this site. Pretty folders for my study, my shoes and my umbrella. You can't even fit the two shoes in. <laughs> Doesn't fit. Oh no. I've got to sit behind. <sighs> can't leave them behind. All aboard. Yes. We That's are. A very spacious. No man left behind. Oh, Daddy. I did tell you, Philip, we could have left that till the next trip. I know. Spacious. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know if we are going to survive in one piece in here. We will be so, what shall I say, 
hutched up by the time we hutched get there. Up. That's obviously a new word. It's hutched a up. New word. Let's see if we can avoid being hutched up by the time we get there. I feel like a sausage. Drive safely. Let me know you've arrived safely. Missed you already. Bye. We've made it into France. We've just come through Euro Tunnel. How's morale in the back and how do you feel about being back in France? Morale is great in Mary. Very yeah, happy to be school. back in France. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we're getting quite torrential rain on the way. We've decided to stop for the night. I think it's going to be safer than driving through the dark in this. But I feel the rainbow is a very good sign for going back to La Lanque. France is welcoming you. Thank you. With a rainbow. A rainbow. Two rainbows. And there is a rainbow. <laughs> a rainbow. And a rainbow. Well, Mummy, I hope that it means it's going to be raining at Lalande for your garden because I can tell you one thing, it needs it. Yes, I can understand. So I hope it does for the poor plants. See? Look at this rainbow. It's all the way over. Oh, yes, yeah, to so the other side. It's beautiful. I haven't seen it. Oh wow, it's so white. And it must be very, 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 very cool. It's perfect timing because we're arriving at our motorway hotel just as the sun is setting. I'm looking forward to a good meal, a glass of wine, and bed. We have just been awoken by an incredibly loud knock to the door. And it was my mother, 20 minutes before we were supposed to be meeting, saying that we are late. And so it begins. Welcome to the new normal, Philip. <laughs> From now on, every day, we're going to have a little ray of sunshine loudly knocking on our door. 20 minutes before. We're supposed to meet, mm -hmm. yeah. Great. So that hanging out in the car and chatting has been wonderful. Yeah. But getting woken up 20 minutes before the alarm goes off. That's so. So I think it's give and take, but I'm sure it will be on both sides. <laughs> we are leaving the room at exactly seven minutes late. Let's see what she says. Well, I can't ask her because she's already gone. So where do we suppose they are? Because I've got the car keys. Probably at the reception. Probably sitting at drinking. reception. <laughs> just like my grandmother used to do. My grandmother used she's to do. She's sitting at reception drinking. <laughs> Moron, she would be sitting with her handbag on her lap. Oh no, yes, with the two hands on yes. the handles. Yes, oh, that's rough. <laughs> Any sign of them for real? Where are they? Ah, I found one. Good morning, good morning, Percy. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Where's mummy? She's getting herself a coffee. Good, is she calm? Yes, yeah, she's calm. Good morning, my ray of sunshine. I saw your face change as I pulled out the phone. <laughs> seven minutes. We were exactly seven minutes late. We, we logged it. We checked it. When we got to Percy, it's not our fault you'd gone. There is now, I don't nothing. know what happened to you, mummy. There is nothing exact about being late. Darling. Seven minutes? L'heure, c'est l'heure. Avant l'heure, ce n'est pas l'heure. Après l'heure, ce n'est plus l'heure. Well, there's no arguing with that. Oh, oh, is it? What was that, Mummy? It's a beautiful morning. Oh, things are looking up. It was even better earlier on. Here we are, ready to go. And I suddenly see everyone's very, very crammed in. Obviously, everyone's precious possessions are being looked after and crammed into the car. <laughs> it's a really pretty teacup. <laughs> so you're carrying it. Well, I've got it here. But I was afraid it was going to fall. So you've moved it and you're nestling it? No, this is just whenever you want to drink something, I put it here and I get you a bottle of whatever you need. That's adorable. It's so pretty. You're back in Lubiri, Mummy. Where we're pleased to be. And we're not far from home. 20 minutes to go. Thank you for your driving, sweetheart. <laughs> Bonne 
someone's wedding. Because look, that looks like a wedding it's car. Like a wedding. I think everyone's just very happy to see you. And the Chalumet. It is. It's marriage. It's a wedding. That was lovely. Here we go, Mummy and Percy. Warm, darling. Home, sweet home. Mm. Now he's. Oh, and there's Thor to greet you. Oh, how lovely. He's lost his <laughs> tail. He's very small at the you moment. They're coming back. Oh my goodness, some of he's not still working there. He is. is. And look at the sunflowers. The sunflowers, yes. It's a bit cottagey, but... <laughs> if I let you out, do you promise to be good? That's a no. I think we'll be leaving her in the car. You can let Percy out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. How can I be good? You want, surely, you want the truth, don't you? Always, <coughs> mummy, always. You're not asking me to lie about my feelings? Never! Or, or my working... my working No, out. just change your feelings is all I want. No, 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 sweetheart, I have to. To be honest, at the least I can give my daughter. Honesty. Thanks, you, darling. We didn't know which were the weeds, and so we couldn't weed them until you arrived to tell us which were the weeds. But you're here now, so it's, it's okay. It's going to be your project, Isabel. 80%. <laughs> Look at the flowers. Pretty flowers. <laughs> Yeah, this side. Don't look at that one. Wow. This, this is lovely. <laughs> Hello! Hello! It's so Hello. good to see you. Hello. Thank you! She just arrived, got out of the car and went, lovely weeds you're cultivating. <laughs> Actually, I know what she means. They're right there. And Pavlina told me they're not weeds. It's a specific plant. It should look like that. And then Sometimes it's I feel blooms. a bit. I feel oh. the same. Well, yeah. you can tell Mummy that. <laughs> Did you make those? Yeah. <gasps> What's happening? She's meeting Kathleen and Anna. Oh! Oh, you've met Mummy! Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Hello, I'm Emma. Lovely to see you again. You look amazing. Oh, so mummy, Maria, Maria, Mummy. You've never met. <laughs> Did Maria, did you seriously make these yeah, yourself? Wow. Uh, but some of them are a bit more coloured. Did you know so these are my palmiers are my favourite biscuits? Welcome back. <laughs> but you had no idea though, because I'm sure we've never discussed no, no, palmier. No, no. I love them. Very easy to make. Wow. I'm delighted to hear it. Two yes. years. I'm, Two funny years. you should ask. I would love one. Thank you. Yes. Super and still warm. Pairs, you mm. <laughs> you my one year amount of <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah. Maria's one year la anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. <laughs> home sweet home, mummy. I had forgotten what it's like. It's quite space. big, isn't it? Yes, I, have, I had forgotten the space. And the world's tiniest bed. It's so small. It's perfect. It's lovely. Percy, you'd never seen the kitchen, no, which I hadn't realised. Well, you've never seen the marble on it, so it's good that that's done and, and all the paintings are up, pictures are up. And most that's importantly, you've got a swanky toaster. And a swanky toaster. <laughs> I haven't seen the, the shower door up. Before. Lots of changes. Very nice. This entire pile in the corner of the room are gifts that have arrived for you in the last two years. I know, can you believe it? People are so kind. Oh my so you're going to have Christmas, basically. Well, actually, looking through. don't buy anything for me for okay. Christmas. I've got it all. <laughs> We've got everything. Oh my, we we've know. got oh. it all, this one. <laughs> Oh, we'll have fun looking at it. And look here, do you remember the coffee table? Did you see it painted? No. D did I? No, I no. saw some gold has happened. Yes. Me. That was a lovely couple who came from Australia and they painted it for you. That's lovely. So, yeah. Much better. It goes really so nice. much better. Come here, let's yes, see. Yes. Come on, darling, don't be shy. <laughs> this is your place too. <laughs> You look dwarfed in this place because it's so tall. But when you went to London, you saw the two huge chandeliers that I've ordered yeah. for here. Yes. That's going to make a big difference. It's going to be incredible. Yes, it will be beautiful. One, two. You've got three wires up there. Yes. So I thought two huge chandeliers and one ceiling fan. 
because it gets very hot in summer. I forgot to have such nice things here. Well, you didn't because that was from Kenneth the Shepherd. You haven't like seen that ago. one before. This yeah, one you knew. Happened. This yes. lovely one with the gardeners on. Yes. That yes, one, you were yes. here when that arrived. This is lovely. But this cushion you hadn't seen. No. A woman sent it, and I think this was made by her great grandmother, if I remember correctly. It was definitely made by her family, yes. Oh, little wonderful. Blackberries. And you have the scent of lavender outside. Oh, yes. Because there's a lot of lavender Especially production lavender. going on. Mmm. It's we lovely. Can smell it here. It's lovely. So, how do you do it? <laughs> it's really technical. So, you've got a pillowcase, lavender. <laughs> Is that really it? Is that how you get the oil out? Oh, yeah. Well, that's how you get all the little. Flowers. Pavlene had the brilliant idea of a pillowcase. See? That's so all... clever. Actually, you should be doing inside my place here. Yes. <laughs> Much nicer. Oh, mm -hmm. I love the place now. <laughs> so now you're staying here again. But th that is me, isn't it? Me? The minute you are somewhere, you the want to stay there. I'm somewhere. I am at home, mm. and uh, and it happens everywhere I go. So this is lovely and we have going to have a lovely time here. Yes. And I have that on film. It will be replayed. <laughs> Actually, come downstairs. I just went downstairs and I saw what they're doing with the lavender. I think you should see it. Okay. This is nice and clear. Yes, doesn't it make a difference? That's and actually, lovely. you might want to quickly look in the pantry yes. because the, I, the I onions see. are stored here. Okay. You haven't seen the onions. Look, nice. look up. Lovely. So that was our magnificent onion harvest. Well done. And we've already used a lot. Wow. Oh, it's nice not to have them. Yes, we've got light now. It's so much nicer. And look at the size of the fridges. Wow. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful. And the other one's a freezer. Excellent. Okay, but come and look at the lavender. This is a great improvement. Yes, it's amazing. Wow. Dan did a good job. He did. Didn't he? Very good. One point for Dan so far. Is he going to remain her favourite? As he's stepping around the corner of this corridor, you suddenly feel as though you've gone back a hundred years in time. <laughs> so this is what you get when you take out all of the sticks, the twigs from. Yes, yes. And it just leaves you with all the flowers. Look well, at give that, it a, Give it a couple of sieves to get out the big bits and then... Yes. The, well, I think it will, we'll have to, our sieve will have to get smaller and smaller. So take these big bits out and then... Definitely. It's fantastic. Emma just told me that is a tiny fraction. Yes, it's a fraction. Yeah. Fraction of it. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, we thought we might bundle these so up for fire lighters in the winter, maybe, because they're very dry. Yes, and I think it's they a good idea. Oh, it's a good winter. idea. And hoping that we get some oh, scent in winter. I think there must be some residual oil yes. in, the, in the branches. Exactly. So lovely. Oh, what if we put them in the barbecue? Firewood. Nice oh, well lavender it's barbecue. Oh, yeah, it's give some smell. Kind of There's only one way of finding out. <laughs> We've brought Mummy and Percy outside to see the new bit of garden. We couldn't even get as far as here. This is a transformation. I couldn't Please. imagine where it was before. But yeah. You haven't seen inside. Come and have a little look inside. It's done so well. We've been really lucky. It's been horrendously dry. I but think... every day I was away to pick you up, it's been raining non-stop. Wow, it, it really has opened up such a lovely clearing here. Yes. Yeah. Really. It's do you know very what nice we must that do? The trees are not next to the chapel anymore. Yes, mm. yes. Very nice. Uh, I was thinking we should put a sticker on each different plant. Of what it is. Of plant with their name. Yes, a little slate would be very nice. Yes, yes. This is well, the entrance. Yes, come in. Now, Sadly, there's less of a hedge than there was because we finally admitted defeat and there's little gaps where we admitted that the hedge had died and so the ones that are left are the ones that are alive and this autumn will replant in the gaps. This big hedge, the really healthy one, is the one that we already had that was around the chapel. But how high do you want the hedge? Quite a bit higher than this. Are you sure? You yes, it should be a hidden garden that you can't see the people in here from outside. Okay. It's going to change the, the sun. Completely. Oh, look at these ulsters, yeah. But a lot of these plants are shade-loving. It would have suffered. Yes, I mean, it? you can see that the hostas were not happy with the recent heat wave. Of course. But once the hedges are high as it, they're planned to be, they'll be in the shade. But are they picking up, aren't they? You've had a few days of rain, have you? Yeah, a few days of yes, rain now. Yes, I can tell. That's good. 
they're picking up but of course the sun would have burnt them and i Without love that this plant i think it's the happiest plant of all the plants that absolutely. we planted this one just suddenly went oh absolutely i'm at home yes. excellent Boom. it can be repeated yes <laughs> oh that's lovely oh you've got vinca it will cover the ground it's lovely isn't it it's lovely it's transformed this area yes absolutely. and this autumn we're nearly doubling it on the other side we're adding a little bit more I so see. you'll go through a little fountain area before coming into this room which will have this secret hidden area to sit down and then you can go through to the woods nice so we're trying to create little private it's areas lovely, of the garden do you remember that beautiful tree multi multi trunked tree we had the huge one it was the huge redwood one. It was here, mummy. And all of this that you're seeing are its babies. They're growing out of the trunk. That was the yes. actual trunk. Now yes. it's a bench. And these are all the babies. And Nick is going to choose the four healthiest ones. Yes. Remove all of the others and we'll have another four shooting back up. Absolutely. But the others can go, even if they're weaklings, they can go somewhere else in the forest. Yes. It's lovely to have redwood. Wow. Look at this. I wonder how old this one was, eh? I'm sure Nick would be able to tell you. Yeah. Well, we better go back because we're having dinner with a guest tonight. Your first guest dinner of the season. Oh my goodness. Yes, we need you ready at 7.30. It is really it's, pretty, it isn't is it? It is pretty. I've dashed from the garden outside to come up to my computer. I'm going to be having a Zoom meeting with Davy because we're choosing the bulbs to plant in the woods and in the new garden for the spring. I have so much admin to do after all my time away that I brought up a cup of tea and I wanted to show you how stunning the tray that we bought looks with Anders' incredible Royal Copenhagen tea set. I absolutely love it. And I think that this is everything I need to power through an afternoon of admin. I have just had a meeting with Davy, mm -hmm. and I've ordered all the bulbs for the new Jardin à l'Anglaise. Okay. So that before the plants come out mm -hmm. in the summer, in the spring, there'll be loads of bulbs. Oh, I love that. And I see that you have been doing what you do best. Yes. And uh, it's going to be fun because wasn't this Isabel said? Yes. But, but I she think knows. she said it's okay. She knows. Well, I think we're going to get away with that. We called her. So that's okay. Yes, but it doesn't mean she won't sit down and go, that's this was my favourite one. Say. I am sure she's <laughs> going to say that. So be prepared. I just got changed for dinner and I can hear Mummy and Percy already outside on the terrace with everyone. So I'm going to run downstairs. <laughs> oh, Percy's got the white jacket out. What a wonderful sight. All is well with the world. Oh, this is one of my favourites. This is the... Um, Tartar that's not a tartar. Yeah, and these are all the tomatoes from the garden. Really? Yep. Yeah. Does mummy know yet? Nope. Oh, you can reveal that at the table. Okay, yeah. tomatoes from the garden with avocado and emphatically not from the garden. No, but shallots are all the herbs that will Ooh. be on the plate will also be from the garden. My mother's going to be so happy. Yeah, in fact, we're having lots of stuff from the garden. We're having potatoes, uh, yeah, all the herbs, loads of the, because we're making the herb sauce. Yes. So all the herbs from that are also from the garden. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah. I love that starter and I noticed the salmon next to Maria, she was plating it up and I love her salmon meal, oh my goodness, it's crusted with herbs and there's the most delicious sauce, so Philip, it's so good! Thank you. It's so pretty! I had help from Nessie. Did mummy see it as she walked through? No, she walked through it. Brilliant! She hasn't seen it yet. No, she Great. Okay. Oh, and the wine's arriving, all's good with the world. <laughs> I'm going to call everyone in now to the table. You can all come through to the table. Yeah. It's good to be home, Philip. It's very However nice it is to go and see other places. Someone has a dream and it comes to fruition. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just seeing Mummy and Percy at the head of the table and being back. I love that. When we use stuff from the garden, you're very happy. Absolutely, because there was a time when I was very unhappy. Producing the garden, I come in the kitchen uh, and I see shop bought uh, tomatoes. <laughs> when I had a glut of tomatoes. Okay. Those, those days are over, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I will never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Were you impressed with how the garden's grown though since you got back? I haven't had a look at the no. garden. The yeah, English the garden, one. yes. Ah, right. oh, so yes. you haven't been in the warm garden yet? I've only been in four hours. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you're mostly being stuck in the room doing stuff. <laughs> 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 Is that what they call? <laughs> Four hours and packing to carrying life. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. No, it's not. Happy birthday to you. You're joking. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> So much. Oh, and it's my favourite biscuits in the world. When is your birthday? It was on Thursday. It's not today. Oh, I've oh, just oh, had it. It's on her. It's on. Seeing to her, so yeah. why not to do the exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Oh, make oh a wish. I forgot. I forgot. Make a wish. Yeah, you can make a wish. But I made the wish. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you know, we have some poached uh, pears in red wine uh, with spices, some caramel mascarpone and some palmier biscuits and Stephanie because uh, I had a slight error so we had we were one uh, pair short this <gasps> your, your one is a slightly <laughs> wonky pair from the garden <laughs> <laughs> Today I'd like to say a special thank you to Stephen Arnold, Dan Bander, Wailing Banshee, Cecilia Begum and Denise Burns. Thank you for all your support and thank you all for watching. See you next week on Thursday.